All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as soon to be, the, uh, soon to be Legionnaire Italy. We're currently the Italian Federation. Uh, I, this song is uh, De Novo in Army. It was a song that was uh, revealed to me by Trad Gamer, so thank you to him. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find it on SoundCloud, so we'll probably play it for a good while on YouTube and then go back to our Italian playlist on SoundCloud. Now, Aftermath of Black Monday, political power plus 100. The entire nation has fallen into despair and unemployment with the collapse of the economy. Finding our way out will be a long road, though we are better off than some. Way better off than some. Yes, sir. There goes the League of Eight Provinces. And yes, we are now desperately short of resources. Build convoys anyway. You can. Even with more resources. I mean, Alright, if you can somehow do that, that's great. I don't know how the fuck that works. That was the managing click. Have a folk stream, aren't they? Governor Ecclesiastical. Interesting. Yeah, of course, the AI hasn't formed yet. Well, it's formed, but it's not permitted, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Understand. And this is the map launch. Yeah. This is very difficult to get right. Now, worsening economic conditions. The economic fallout from Black Monday is getting worse day by day as we underestimated its initial effects and took limited action to counter them. There are some laissez-faire economists who argue that nothing should be done and that the market will recover itself eventually. There are others among the church who advocate a continuation of a campaign started by Pius XI for the creation of Catholic corporations. Uh, they would be structured, organized, and controlled with our support and lead to the creation of many new independent unions that support workers. Some believe that will give rise to more syndical sentiment about our support and organized Catholic corporations. Daily political power gain minus 0 0.05, consumer goods factories minus 2.5%, stability plus 5% for 730 days, political power minus 40, change in popularity of syndicalism 10%, put more people to work on at cost, minus 0.5, recruiter population, construction speed plus 10%, political power minus 80, or uh, political power minus 140, um, change in popularity of, of paternal autocracy minus 10%, do nothing, let the market recover itself, yes. The Keynesianism will come later. No, I don't like that at all. We, 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 uh, we do need to get rid of this. So let's do that. We're probably going to die soon anyway. Nationalize the Austrian businesses. Remove Austrian owned industry, which grants daily physical power cost plus 0.1. Consumer goods factories 15%. Uh, the Austrian Empire. Extra trade, uh, uh, extra, trade, uh, extra trade overlord plus 25%. The Austrian Empire target country trade cost minus 50%. The Austrian influence in our federation is obvious to everyone, and as long as they continue to own large sectors of our economy, the Austrian bastards will continue to control our government. We must take the first step to a free Italy and nationalise our vital industries. Yes, there's going to be a lot of that. I'm not cancelling. The death of Pius XI. All Christendom mourns the death of His Holiness, Pope Pius XI, who died following a heart attack after having been in decline. In declining health for the past several years, something which rapidly worsened following Black Monday. Uh, I was out uh, get some research going. Now. Actually. Cancel the Fighter 1 thing. I'm not cancel, I'm supposed to be. Pause. 
Uh, the Holy Father will soon be interred with the rest of his predecessors in the tomb of the popes until the next pope can be chosen. The Italian Federation will be ruled by the College of Cardinals in Rome. Uh, the succession of his holiness is made all the more important due to the Catholic Church's role in governing the reborn nation, as well as its vehement opposition to syndicalism, a force which has divided the north and south of Italy and seeks to once again reunify the Italian peninsula. How terrible. Move all head of government ideas at the College of Cardinals, which grants uh, head of government from uh, Democrats. Daily uh, political power gain plus point eleven. Gone. College of Cardinals. While the conclave is in session, uh, Carmelengo, Carmelengo, Eugenio Pacelli holds de facto administrative roles. However, the Holy See is officially empty, and the papal state thus lacks a head of state formally. The conclave is usually a time-consuming process that may set the that may set the church, the state, and the church itself in a brand new path for decades to come. Ah, there we are. Some factories back to us. We'll prioritize tungsten from the Russians. Yes, there we are. Some steel, again from the Russians. Because if we are going to align with anyone, um, instead of creating our own sphere, it would be with the Russians. It's certainly not going to be with the Austrians or the, the Germans or the Entente. Because we're coming for everyone's land, but not really the Russians. Now. Call Papal Conclave. Political power plus 120. The Papal Conclave will begin in the next Pope selected. With the death of Pius XI, the Conclave will need to be called by the Cardinals to select a replacement, a Pope uh, who will determine our path for the years to come. Who do we currently have? Theodore, Cardinal Initzer, Giovanni, Cardinal Montini, Alfredo, Cardinal Ottaviani. Of course, the Cardinals are Cardinals. Now, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see, who do we have here for our foreign minister? Who will we be getting? Ah, Pav Pavellini is a foreign... No, no, no that's, I forget they show off all the ministers in the same thing. Yes, Pavellini is here as the, minister, as the minister of the interior. That's fine. I'm sure we'll be getting you very soon. Well, actually, not that soon, to be honest. We, have, we do have a bit to go. Domenico Giampietro. You're an economy. You're an economy minister, and you're an, you're an infantry proponent. All right. I don't know if we can get you. Let me see. Pedro Cardinal Segura e Sanz. Sanz. Aha, the Italian Confederation is here. Welcome, Marshal Messi. It will be good to unify with you peacefully and secure the, uh, the new Italy. You hate us. Yeah, but Also, like I was saying uh, in the previous episode, uh, it should have happened by now, maybe. Let's, uh, let's see. No, not yet. Okay, not yet. Invite the Polish Republic to the... Okay. Nice, we get to invite the Polish. Very cool. Polish would be a good ally to have, actually. Now, dispersed industry one. Malta secures independence. Are you still in the Reichs Pact, though? You're not. So I can just invade you. <laughs> Grand job. It's fantastic. You have a navy? No. We've got a few aircraft. That's fantastic. Keep that artillery production up, we're going to need a lot of it. Ooh, we already have 17, uh, 17 experiences. Army experience. Fantastic. Well, let's get the artillery in then. Also, just look at these beautiful focuses. They're so good looking. Look at look at this. Look how good looking that is. I don't remember being that good looking in the uh, in the in the Kaiser I played, or maybe it's just me. But these are beautiful. Well, I was looking at someone um, earlier on today, and they, they also have beautiful focuses. Yeah, Southern Italy. Southern Italy is gorgeous as well. Fashier here. 
Also, I hope that's not pronounced how. I hope it, I hope it's pronounced Fago. I swear to God. I do, I do actually intend on playing the Fashi. As well as Avola. Fucking clown. Avola's such a clown, I swear to God. Need one more, one more uh, unit. Well, one civilian factory is worth of steel. And well, Carla's securing. And the ANI has formed with Gabriele D'Annunzio as leader. The papal conclave, the Holy See has finally came together to deliberate the election of a new pope following Pius XI's death. In the end, they chose to elect the socialist cardinal Achille Leonard as John the Twenty-Third. Achille Leonard will become Pope John the Twenty-Third. Add Luigi Cardinal uh, Maglione, uh, which grants head of government authoritarian democracy, political protege, daily uh, daily political power gain plus point eleven. Add um, oh, the, these all the same. Same. Some of them are definitely the same. No, they're not. Huh. Uh, yes. Uh, add Domenico, Cardinal Tardini, uh, which grants foreign minister of them, apologetic clerk, daily, a lot of daily political power again, that's good, plus 0 0.04. Add Giacomo, Cardinal uh, Lercaro, Lercaro. Which grants economy minister, social liberals, laissez faire capitalist, daily political power gain minus 0 0.03, resource gain efficiency plus 2%, construction speed plus 4%, military factory construction speed minus 2%. Add Alberto Cardinal de Horio, which grants uh, minister of interior, social democrats, backstabber, daily political power gain plus 0 0.05, division organization minus 4%. Austrian Empire hates us, Hungary hates us, German Empire hate, uh, dis dislikes us. Uh, gets him into Pope John the 23rd, the socialist Pope. And here he is. John the 23rd, the Pope. The Pope is the head of the Catholic Church, the Supreme Pontiff and the Bishop of Rome. Currently he presides as head of state of the Italian Federation and rules as an absolute monarch with his temporal power coming directly from God. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Now, Pope uh, John the 23rd, the Socialist Pope. Catholic faithful in Rome were initially relieved today as the... Uh, I nearly said state No, Sistine Chapels. Uh, chimney billowed forth white smoke, signifying the election of a new Pope. A short time later it was announced that the new Pope was none other than Achille Leonard, the infamous Socialist Cardinal. Now John the 23rd, leader of the Catholic Church and head of state of the Italian Federation, many expected that the new Pope's elections, uh, that, that the new Pope's election, yeah, is, is it elections? Because like we will be holding elections, but we're talking about his election, whatever, uh, signifies the softening of the Church's opposition to syndicalism, and perhaps e even that an avenue uh, towards renewed contact with the Confederation of Southern Italy has appeared. Good luck, Your Holiness. Yes, we will be uh, coming. We will be becoming very much open to both socialism and syndicalism. Just not of the Marxist or anarcho variety, or rather, I should say, anarcho or Marxist variety. Now, back to the aircraft. Now, social welfare program. Oh, I never forgot to read them. Yeah. Uh, daily political power gain plus 0.15, stability plus 15 percent, conflict support plus 7. Those are really good. Uh, Pope John XXIII, formerly Achille Cardinal Leonard. Uh, it's gone. Is a controversial choice. Pope, he is a well-known socialist. Uh, considered by some to even be a radical, and it's possible he was chosen by the papacy due to the possibility his socialist leanings will lead uh, to a reconciliation uh, with the South. Still pat off. Uh, social welfare program and social welfare state, which grants consumer goods factories minus 5%. Shouldn't that be plus 5%? That makes no sense. We're going to spend money, therefore we get my negative consumer goods. That, that's stupid. There needs to be no revolution to teach or to reach the necessary social changes as time changes with social our law. Yeah, th th that's one of the things I don't like about a lot of mods. Uh, the new order isn't one of them. But well, it is in a way. It's just like no matter what path you play, you, you can always end up with a good ending. If you kind of know what I mean. It's, it's all kind of very... You will still get buffs and bonuses. Like if you go for laissez-faire capitalism, you'll get negative consumer goods. If you go for, I don't know, Marxist Leninism, you'll get negative consumer goods. It's like... You know, you gotta have it's gotta be different. Anyway, Pope John the 23rd, a socialist and hard Achille Leonard, would do his utmost to prevent another great conflict by decreasing the political tension. Elect to him could even mean limited friendship with the syndicalists, no matter how unpopular such a move would be among Italian nationalists. Who I think Italian nationalism and syndicalism are ripe for uh, unity with each other. Yes, indeed. 
Oh god, you've got a lot of men. It's good. It's good, because I don't. Not yet. So I changed the temperature. That's perfect. Also, I have the uh, 10 support companies thing enabled. Um, you can't get a 1 for 12, but I didn't see a reason why 12 is even needed. Can you even get 12? I think 12 might be the max. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, we'll just get you. Pronto all'azione. Crimea secures independence. What? Why? Okay. Uh, ooh, 42 days. Yes, we need civilian factories. Now, industrialize the peninsula. We get uh, two civilian factories in Viterbo and uh, two civilian factories in Romagna, Emilio Romagna. Romagna? Yeah, Romagna. With the unions empowered, uh, we must mobilize the workers of Italy to expand our industry and make it the heart of our growing state. How long until I get to annex you, huh? Hopefully not, huh? Then again, it might be... A I mean, I don't need to annex you straight away. I mean, it's going to be a while before I can go for the Austrians anyway, so... If you kind of did industry stuff for a while... Don't think I'd say no. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. I don't suppose there's any the army stuff. I don't suppose that gives anything here gives you just divisions. Not that, that really matters. Uh, no, no. What's actually weird is that, like, um, if you create the uh, Armata Rasa, like. Like, you get to do that no matter who you are. Like, you could be playing uh, as a Vola, and you'll have, like, your... You, the official name of your army be the Red Army. It's very weird. Ooh, I already have enough factories. Fantastic. Get some more, uh, steel. Jan... Stramek? I don't, probably butchered that. Who are you? Sopcon. How are the mountain divisions looking? If I were to do something similar to you... No, I probably wouldn't have the... Uh, I probably wouldn't have the army experience. <laughs> Radio. Very essential. Okay, you can nearly keep working down here. <coughs> Damn. So yes, Savinkov is elected. Because if Savinkov messes up, then... Um, then you can get the NRPR, and that's who we're getting. Or not the NRPR. The, uh, the NSNP? Yeah. The Solidarists. There goes Jabal Shamar. Christian Trade Union. I think that focus is used. Oh no, that, that's in Southern Italy. Never mind. Gain base ability plus 50%. I mean, can't argue with that. The trade unions are the bedrocks of the modern social state, therefore they provide the perfect opportunity to further promote the word of Jesus. That's a fact. Trade. Yeah, we, we do have some uh, physical power here. Might not be a bad idea to just start spending it. Uh, 
Army experience game is more often not usually a good shout. I do intend to actually build some military factories in this game. Also, has that thing happened yet with the resources? Well, hopefully there wasn't a flu that was actually happening yet. Now, yes, back to this stuff. It is an important decision. Probably going for this one, yeah. Sita Pong Pong San Martin San Martin? No. That doesn't look very Italian. Anyway, uh, not this stuff. Oh. Army experience is also always a good shout. And it doesn't really cost as much. I think I got I, I give a load of stuff right. Yeah, I think that's the army experience. Uh, army High Command Focus Artillery. Army experience gain plus 0 0.06 daily. Artillery attack plus 7%. Artillery defense plus 5%. Uh, Army high command focus logistics. Uh, Army experience gain plus 0 0.09 daily. Division attrition minus 8%. And the rest is all navy and air stuff. I do I care less. But I'm the theorist. Where the theorist go? Huh. Is this how I get? Yes, it is. Oh, but I gotta get some more command power. Alright, alright, fine. Oh, there's uh, generic stuff here. That's handy for the for the small mission. Or just nations that don't have content. <laughs> Tori Basticles here. I was talking with uh, with Giovanni Montanari about Garibaldi's here. Yeah, we'll be going. I'd say nearly Graziani. Graziani's probably the best of the three there. Yeah, that's not bad either. Division speed. That's actually Tori Basticle kind of has what I want, to be honest. <laughs> Bombastico with his thunderous artillery guns in this mod. Uh, not worried about the tanks. Supremacy on the ground and supremacy in the air is what we're going to need. Well, supremacy on the ground minus the tanks. Oh, okay. Oh, point three well, perfect, of course. You're getting men out there, aren't you? Yeah, that's good. Keep pumping them out. Hopefully you don't invade me. If you invade me, I'm gonna be screwed. Pronto, signore. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't invade me. Pronto, signore. Just in case, I'll put, I'll put my troops in the water. Yeah, you don't have many. Yeah, we need to deal with Black Monday. <clears throat> yeah, that ain't going anywhere unless I start dealing with things over here. Ah, it's over here. There we are. That's That's where it is. That's where we get the resources from. Yeah, I'd say we're nearly done now. Ooh, would it, make, would it be a good idea to get that? Yeah, I'd say we'll nearly have to get this. Well, well we got to fix the econ economic situation first. Uh, or nearly, actually, no, we're not going to. What we're going to do is, is we're going to, we're going to role play this. We're going to have um, the A and I campaign on a uh, fix the economy platform, as well as just nationalism and other stuff. Uh, Sideline the aristocracy. Political power plus 100, add rebellious nobility, which grants uh, stability minus 10 percent that's all. The Italian aristocracy holds far too much power and wealth, and, will, and they will go to great lengths to protect us, even so, uh, so far as to overthrow the Pope, if they feel he is threatening their stranglehold on the people. That must end. 
No, Army Command Focus. Defense or Offense? Yeah, it's got to be Offense. Army Focus, Offense. Army Experience, Gain plus 0 0.06 daily. Division Attack plus 5%. Very nice. If we'll actually get to stay with the Caracano M38 in this timeline with the new cartridge, or if we'll have to go back to the old long rifle with the old cartridge, hopefully. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to change the production, but you know, lore wise, might be a bad idea to start training some divisions as well. As many as we can fit for infantry equipment. It's not bad. I'm actually, just, yeah, just kill Oh, excuse me. How long that infantry equipment take to fill? 253 days. 251 days. Yes. Actually, here's what There we are. Used up as much time as possible. Well. Yeah, we need your troops, Messi. There's no, no doubt about it. You even have aircraft. There we are. That was fast. Reconciliation. This will be good as well. Good. Messi is doing it as well. Gain, uh, gains. Please buy us opinion of Italian Federation plus 30. Obviously, I think they get that. Uh, Italian Confederation gains. Please buy us opinion of Italian Federation plus 30. Oh, no, no. That, that's the first one was, uh, was us for them. Remove divided nation, which grants stability minus 10%. Italy does not need to be completely divided by ideology, while it will take many difficult tasks, or, or talks rather, to unite Italy once again. For the moment, we can at least agree to mutually recognize our government and embark upon an exchange of ideas. Indeed. The syndicalists will find a very nice home in the state that Garibaldi and Balbo will build. It'll be national syndicalism, which is just better than whatever sort of anarcho site they'd have going. They're just general civilism. Yeah, like I was saying to Giovanni Montanari, because of the way the borders are laid out, we won't like we can't really do the red the red flood borders up to the Rhone in the south. I'd say nearly uh, Alta Savoia and uh, Romandy and, and Antesino from Switzerland, but I was kind of thinking more the west. Also, we'll get Corsica, we'll get Malta, we'll get Libya, Tunisia. I mean, probably we'll do the whole, nearly what we did uh, did last game, kind of with a massive Italy, all of Algeria, Libya, Egypt, uh, Sudan, Abyssinia, Eritrea, Somalia, Somalia. You know, said Somalia. Then. <laughs> we'll try and guess uh, Ionia, Iona, Nisia. Oh God, what, what, what's the what's the Italian word for that? Ah, more physical power, I'd say. Are we nearly, are we nearly finished? Yeah, we're coming up pretty soon. We're already on this, these things, though. So that's pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, this one. Industrial resource speed plus 10%, military factory construction speed plus 15%, civilian factory construction speed plus 5%. Get that. Air Force, Chief of the Army, Chief of Staff. But yeah, who can we get for Chief of Army? We can get Graziani as Bob Gambara. <laughs> Gambara with the famous quote. Ooh, supply consumption looking pretty good. Division R, that's very good. I think I'll leave that till later. I think I'll leave that till later too. Are we getting? No, we're not, we're not getting that much. Beretta. Yeah, we'll get the uh, Academia Militare de Milano. Weapons and equipment research speed plus 10%. Infantry equipment, soft attack plus 4%. Hard attack plus 4%. Breakthrough. Defense and reliability all plus 4%. That seems really strong. 
And it means we'll be able to go into uh, wherever with our Mab 38s uh, boosted, which is very nice. Put some shit on. You can get a I think you can get a 50 round stick for the Mab 38, which is pretty sizable. Especially we consider it's not the fastest firing submachine gun either. 50 rounds would go a long way. Reconciliation, very nice. Power to the people, democracy. The Italian Federation will be known as the Republic of Italy. The National Populist Party will now be called ANI, Associazione Nazionalista Italiana. Leave something. This will... No, I'll tell us, never mind. Uh, the, the Paternal Autocrats Party will now be called uh, Casa de Savoia e Asta. Interesting, the House of Savoia returns. I, I believe uh, Messi brings back the, uh, the Victor Emanuele, or uh, Vittorio Emanuele in the third. Yeah. Good to spend democratic elections. The last step in social reform is recognizing that God's place is to guide, not to rule. True power belongs in the people, and a socialist state must be erected to look after their welfare. Now the Pope can step aside as Italy's head of state and instead you, uh, and instead rule the city of Rome while the rest of Italy is under a republic. The whole city? You mean the Vatican City? You can have the Vatican. You ain't, you ain't getting the whole city. Garibaldi's gonna have to Lateran pact his ass. be able to just go straight for military factories. Where's the other one I did? Yeah, it's up here. Oh, but no room? What the fuck? What was that about? What the hell was it talking about? Newly now, Lennon lives and all that. They talking about people's out of a transit What the fuck was that about? I should have read that. God damn it. I'll have to check that up once I'm finished uploading this. What's that about? Oh, look at that conflict. Yeah, let's see a map of the conflict. Huh? Not too many, not too many. What the hell was that about? Oh, was it here? Was it this? It, uh, it was Dimitri Ulyanov. That's what it was. Oh, oh, we should soon be, soon be having elections. Um, we haven't really done much towards uh, clear uh, sorting out the economy. Uh, which will further legitimize the 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 election win of the ANI. Campaigning on nationalism, you know, reunifying Italy, regaining Italy's lost territories, the uh, terra irredenta, as well as fixing the horrific economic situation. Yeah, social... Uh, why is that giving us negative concerns? All right, here we are, democratic elections. Since we are now a democratic country, it is time for free elections. There are five parties at the election. The Italian Popular Party, Partito Popolare Italiano, led by De, Sca uh, De uh, Gasperi and uh, Gronchi. Gronchi? Gronchi? Gronchi sounds weird. The Liberal Party, Partito Liberale, led by Ruini. The Democratic Party, Partito Democratico, led by Ivano Bonomi. The ANI, led by Balbo and Nunzio. And the Italian Socialist Party, Partito Socialista, Socialista Italiano, led by Secchi and uh, Vasali, who will win the elections. Associazione, Associazione Nazionalista Italiana National Populist. ANI becomes the ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Change in popularity of national populism at Italo Balbo, Dino Alfieri, uh, Domenico Gian Pietro, and. Oh, uh, Domenico is here. And Asaldro, uh, Alessandro Pavlini. Oh, we've got. Now we've now got a terrible looking eagle on our flag. Uh, but we have a great looking leader. Fantastic. Okay, 
Italian Republic. Remove decentralized state, which grants daily political power gain minus 0.2. Remove rebe uh, rebellious nobility, which grants stability minus 20%. Italy is at last ruled by its people. A true republic and a modern state. Fantastic. Now, what afflicts us at the moment? How much? Yeah, we don't need to do any of this in the end. Yeah. A9 power. The Associazione Nazionalista Italiana have taken power within the Republic and have begun to transform Italy into a legionary state as they promise to destroy all of Italy's enemies and restore Italy to greatness. But the first thing they're going to do is sort out the economy. <laughs> Clean the Pontine Marshes. Get cement the Pontine Marshes. The marshlands in the uh, Lazio, is that Lazio? Uh, region of central Italy have stood since the time of the Romans. A concerted effort to clear them will provide ample farmland as well as work for many thousands of idle hands. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're okay with reunifying with me. Wash announces our ambitions. Good early. Eh, it's March 37th. Okay, fair enough. And hopefully you don't mind. Do you? We're getting more men out. Are you afflicted by Black Monday at all? No, you're not, because you started off as the syndicalist. Ah, I see. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. We can attack the Austrians. Is that a new, uh, is that a new flag for the American Union state? Yeah, it's new to me. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Where are the federal? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where are the What are you waiting for? Artillery? Damn, okay. Oh ho! Four divisions. Very nice. We should spend our uh, manpower. That won't be accumulated. Trench and speed, always handy. Oh, Rafael Graziani. Logistics wizard, very nice. Pronto, signore. Ah, raise the tariffs. The Pontine Marshes. The order has been given to clear the Pontine Marshes and thus open... And thus open the once useless land for farming or industry. The plan will require the, um, the employment of thousands of Italians. It take many months to get the bulk of it done. But the outcome may be worth it. So long as it keeps them working, I'm happy. Manpower minus 30,000. Political power plus 20. And we'll be using this political power to literally just go straight back to free trade. Panama has joined the Entente. Yeah, we're short, alright. What's this? How do we run out of manpower? We were at like 8,000. What happened? Oh, the 30,000 thing, of course. It's weird that, like, if you're at, say, like, 10,000 manpower and you get a, an event that says minus 30,000 manpower, you'll only lose the 10. There should be some sort of system where, like, the next 20,000 manpower you get goes straight, you know, is immediately taken away. Only makes sense. 
Charge of the Mobile Watch. Not bad, not bad. Thanks, I think. What's funny is that at the start of the game, you can make cast armor and you can make riveted armor, but you have to research basic armor protection to unlock welded armor, which is, which is in the middle, which is just weird. So, are you for, are you independent? You are. Sock lips, look at that beard. Pronto. And King Click recognizes Fang Tian. Ooh, that's a big move. Commandy. How did you deploy? Where did you come from? And how is there still 54,000 men in training? I just look. What? I just looked si, at this. And there were 54,000 men in training. You deployed, there were still 54,000. What the name of God? Huh. Okay. Suspect. I hate this. Add limited export which grants construction speed plus five percent, research speed plus one percent, factory output plus uh, five percent. I think it was. Um. Dockyard output plus five percent, factory output plus five percent, resources American plus twenty five percent, civilian intelligence to others plus ten percent, Na uh, navy intelligence to others plus five percent. Dutch East Indies, Denmark, Kingdom of Finland, 19 others, trade relations with Osma and minus 200. Austrians hate us, Illyria, Bohemia, Kingdom of Hungary, Galicia, Lord Mary, all hate us now. Or is that all trade relations? Yeah, probably. Develop construction capabilities. We get two civilian factories in Cagliari and two civilian factories in San Marino. San Marino's gonna be hopping. Um, is San Marino still just a small? Yeah, it is. <laughs> For 11,000 people, it's gonna have a lot of industry. Uh, where was I? Our current industrial capacity is a disgrace to our country. We must make uh, sure we expand our industrial capabilities. That's a fact. No, actually. Oh, nice. Pick the guy that I would have picked. Based on face alone, I know nothing about him. Oh ho! Ooh. Oh! What the fuck? What's this? Who are you? Formazione! Sì, signore! Messi, join me immediately. Pronto all'azione! Christ, son, the Danube is right. We declare war on both of them. Why do you like us? No, we like you. Why? Did not press claim on throne. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Commandy. We, uh... We remilitarize Lombardy. Yeah. How, how many days? We're currently 17 days into it. Okay, tell you what. Uh, focus dot also come, please. Just, I don't want to lose time. Well, I, I've already lost three days, so, you know. Si, signore. Pronto. Oh, is, fi is 15 divisions enough? Pronto, or should I say, signore. is 18 divisions enough? Uh, can I get a reduction on this at all? Yeah, back to free trade. And that's not gone. Actually, well, actually, if I get an officer four, maybe it'll just be better officer. Yeah, superior firepower. The staff can focus on throwing shells, not men at the enemy. Our manpower is precious. Bullets are cheap. Yes. Self attack plus ten percent for all frontline battalions. I turned that off, didn't I? I did. Now back to this. Commandy. Are the Italians distracted enough? 
Oh, yes, they are. Fair enough. Grand job, that'll do it. Like a vampire legend, the Austrian Empire has slowly drained the life from us. If we were to if we were to ever truly reassert ourselves internally and internationally, the Austrians must be vanquished. Gain base to, uh, gain base conflict support plus ten percent. Cancel the military access, and in twenty days we'll go after it. Grand job. Commandy. Delete that uh, battle plan. We get to uh, pronto, signore. Garrison, or not Garrison, but uh, have the front line on both of them. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. You know, Messi, if you were thinking about... Uh, I'll just TD bomb, tag SRI here. If you were thinking about unifying with me, that would be a great time. It would be smashing, really. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that at all. You've made no progress on it. You've just been doing army stuff. That's annoying. Yeah, you'll get to it eventually. Uh, I'm not going to force you to uh, speed run it. Plus, you know, the, the more you build up, the more uh, I'll get when I uh, eventually annex you. Commandy! No, no, we're not in a good state. So I'm actually going to cancel those two divisions just so that we can get Spanish in the conflict. I'll say this, I'll read that. Rebuild tries Lombardy. Our last enduring wound from the Great Conflict is the enduring demilitarization of Lombardy. We cannot trust the Austrians. Milan is Italian and it should be protected by Italian soldiers. Place volunteer only with limited conscription. Effective change recruitable population plus 1%. Army experience plus 10. Political power plus 120. Uh, world tension is increased by 2. Oh god, the Hungarians are folding. God, if Messi declares on me, well, I'm a war the Austrians, I would not be happy. How long? Three days. Who are you? Are you Galicia Lord Maria? That's good. If you. Yeah, I think you are. That's good. That's good. Pronto, signore. Destroy you here. It's just fine. Ooh, the Hungarians. Very nice. I'll accept all your lovely. Let me Thank you very much. Alright, halt, 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 it's okay, halt. I don't suppose you could maybe push. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Yes or no? Pronto. Ordini. Where are you going? Pronto. Avanzate. You like heavily fortified or something? No, it's the perfect. 
Zrobię to Forza, forza! If we can trap all these goddamn troops, it would be a great boom. So hold. Keep pushing. Man. Attento! Hold. Gandhi takes power. Straight in. Yeah, sure. Oh, you bollocks! Commanding. <coughs> is that free? It is free. Why aren't the Serbs in on this? What the fuck? What did you do? Why did you drop out? No, 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 no. Where the fuck did you drop out? You didn't even get Montenegro. What are you doing? No, my friend. You are, uh... You're in this with us. Formazione. We're still okay. We're winning. We are winning. Push them out. Nice to do that. Well done. Prove industrial development. You can't actually, uh, one of you can't attack, so move here. Hopefully that way you'll be able to attack. Stop, stop, stop. Establish Irredentist claim on Tr uh, Trentino and Istria. Yes. Do that. All right, stop. Riparatevi. Realign. Oh, look at that! It's formazione. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Thank you kindly, gentlemen. Oh, you shite! Push him out. Push him out now. Now, getting worried, are we? Well, you probably won't be, because you're... Ha-ha! Pronto, signore! Pronto, signore! Avanzate! See, we can nearly be making moves here as well. Alright, the Hungarians are doing alright. They ain't doing too bad. Attento! Yes, 
short of everything. Oh shit. Comandi. Pronto, signore. Prendete la mira. Prendete la mira. All right, all right. Prendete la mira. Prendete la mira. Pronto. Forza, muovetevi. Pronto. Prendete la mira. Formazione. Pronto, signore. Leaving. Just lost me leaving. Continuate ad avanzare. Fuoco nemico. Ah, the dangers of an early war. Comandi. Sì, signore. Signore. Sì, signore. Avanzate. All right, good. That'll help. <coughs> Improve industrial development. We uh, we lost a, a lot of debuffs, which is good. And we got more factories. Indeed, very nice. Strive for autarky. Actually, no, this first, yeah. Improve industrial development. Clearly, more industry funding is necessary for Italy to become a real industrial force. Yes. Strive for autarky. Our natural resources are vastly underdeveloped. If we were to ever go to war with the South, we would be completely unprepared, as we would lack the resources to keep our factories up and running. In these troubling times, we must attempt towards autarky by investing in our own resources, rather than continuing relying on allies that will surely betray us should war ever arrive. We get 8 steel in Toscana, 7 tungsten in Toscana, 13 chromium in Romagna, and 5 tungsten in Lombardia. Pronto, signore. Sì, signore. Formazione. Ordini. Pronto all'azione. Avanzate! Signore, comandi. Oh, sugar. Comandi. Continuate ad avanzare! Pronto! <coughs> Decrease reports. Right. How many divisions are here? I get the feeling sì, that signore. it can't be many. What in the name of God? No. Pronto, signore! 
Avanzate! Oh yeah, I think okay. I think we might get up this time. Hey. Attento! You Command stop me. them. Whatever Lana. Maybe I'll just stop them before. Maybe take whatever at this stage. Oh, you decided to leave. Did you decide to leave? You did. You decided to just not carry on with your attack plan. Ordini! Funny enough, we're taking plenty of Austrian territory. But not our own territory. Did you reinforce? Pronto, signore. Fuck, there's the back of the front. I must be really sweating the Hungarians here. Pronto all'azione. Actually, no, you stay. You stay. Comandi. No, you can help. You know, you can definitely help. Moving in. This is one division, goddammit. It's a crack unit, supposedly. This is going to be the hell are you retreating into? Do you have... You oh because yeah anyway, you've got that. No, you don't. Where the hell are you going then? Si, signore. Yeah, you're attacking from Lichtenstein territory. You're in the Dano Adriebund. Why? Continuate l'attacco. Ordini. Stop attacking. Non fermatevi! No more goddamn attacks here. Ordini! Si, signore! Do you? No, Pronto. you need to wipe them out. You want to come back. Pronto, signore! Si, signore! Shut them off. Again. We're fucking men. Oh my god. Commandi! Oh, feeling the squeeze, are we? Pronto all'azione! No, I said one more attack, but I've said that. Avanzate! <laughs> oh, however many times he's been. Pronto! Pronto, signore! Ordini. No, please don't leave. That would, that would be a bad thing. Casualties: twenty-six thousand. Right, Seventeen here. Eight and a half there. Four and okay. Okay, this might actually work in our favor. Si, signore. Still not cut off. Yes, yes, this is going to work in our favor. Pronto. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck, we might lose you. 
Nah, I don't want to lose you. I'm not big on losing divisions. Oh yeah, repairs. No, no repairs. Pronto. Professional officer core, army experience gain plus 5%, daily ground power gain plus 0.2, land doctor class minus 5%. Si, sí, signore. Pronto, signore. You fortified? Does this still exist? Of course. Pronto all'azione. Avanzate. Pronto, signore. Sì, signore. Pronto, signore. Attento. Signore. Ordini. Pronto. Sì, signore. Forma 
Informazione! Pronto all'azione! Formazione! Ordini! Oh, cosa la sola! Ciao, mio amico! Comandi Pronto Comandi You're not shitting me. Pronto! Oh, nice. Go there. Okay. Pronto! Ordini Signore Sì signore Forza, forza Ordini Avanzate! Ah, the non zero city! He lives Pronto, to see signore. Hume once more. How much casualty is looking now? I wish I could just see how many, like... Why can't I see my... Why do I have to look through each one? Why can't I just see the total of the Dano Avia? Serbs, Serbs are doing really fucking well. As soon as we free up this goddamn. Don't we free up me. how many men? Uh, Formazione! Ordini! Well, I can nearly go. How close is. Uh, the... Hell, I can nearly knock them out. Pronto, signore. Well, well enough. Ordini. We go with the serves. Avanzate. Oh, 
Oh no, this this has made something very good. Caesar style. Pronto all'azione. Ah, he were wounded bringing the battle to its successful conclusion. Yeah, I'm really liking the look of that. I think how it's going at the south. We deploy there. Oh, it's a free, it's a free division right there. Avanzate! But you do Avanzate. understand what I'm asking you to do, don't you? Okay, good. This is not what you do. Ah, they recaptured few. Commandi! Ha! Liberated! Pronto. Suck it! Pronto, signore! Pronto. This could be dangerous. Pronto. Marching into Zagreb triumphantly. Don't suppose that'd be them, would it? That would be very nice. If you think that was that. Too much. Oh, yeah, there's not. 91%. Yes, signore. Yes, there we are. Very good. Ooh, yeah, now we're getting the uh, destroyed stuff. Forza, forza! Attento! I was worried there for a while. One thing's going pretty well. It's not over yet. Make sure that this is the uh, the same. Commandi. Yes. Make sure it's the same. Ordini. That's all right. Ordini. Oh, it's open again. Pronto all'azione. Pronto. Pronto. Kill the oil reserves, yes, do that. Modern warfare requires oil to fuel your, fuel your ships, your vehicles, and your air force. We must be able to produce a steady supply of fuel for our military, and so we must begin building many oil refineries. Be begin building many oil refineries, what the hell I say? Add technology, synthetic oil experiments, Amelia and Toscana gets two synthetic refineries each. Yes. Black Monday recovery. Here come the divisions. Oh, are you about to get encircled? Yes, you are. Attento. Attento. Oh, but you are. You, 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 you are about to get si, there. Si, signore. Will you, will you get there? No, you won't. Si, signore. Yeah. Ordini. West Africa goes this alone. Any day now. Oh shit! It's a good song. You're in push war. Continuate ad avanzare. Right, if we drive right here. Signore. 
Captured. Oh, baby. Good job. Very good job. Pronto. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Avanzate. I think what I'll do is I'll trade them uh, I'll trade them Slavic territories here in exchange for territories on the coast. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. Attento. Pronto all'azione. Pronto all'azione. Pronto. Virtually no strength. Don't suppose we push them. Fuoco nemico. Hungary is falling though. Alright, but now is a, a good uh, now is a good place to leave. Well, it's, it's, it's as good a place as any, but it's simply put, uh, yeah, I need to actually have time to upload this video, and I need to go and do something else. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. As uh, I would say, as well, supporting the channel on Patreon, but I actually unlaunched the Patreon. I need to revamp it. Uh, see you in the next episode where we'll knock out the Austrians. Yes, indeed. See you then.